Forget what you thought you knew about fighter jets, because the battle between the F-35 Lightning II and the Eurofighter Typhoon will shatter every myth you've heard. What makes one stealth jet feared by nations and the other respected by air forces across Europe? You're about to witness the ultimate comparison that separates raw firepower from next-gen stealth, air dominance from multi-role versatility, and tactical superiority from brute speed. Stay locked in, because the answer isn't what you expect. The F-35 Lightning II, developed by Lockheed Martin, is often hailed as the pinnacle of fifth-generation fighter technology. With its sleek, stealthy design, the F-35 isn't just about invisibility, it's about information dominance. Loaded with the most advanced sensor fusion, data linking, and electronic warfare capabilities, the F-35 isn't designed for flashy dogfights. It's designed to win wars before the enemy knows it's there. Powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, the F-35 pushes out nearly 43,000 pounds of thrust and can reach speeds of Mach 1.6. But what truly sets it apart isn't just its raw numbers, it's the way it thinks. The pilot sits inside what many call a flying supercomputer. With advanced radar like the N-slash APG-81 ASA, infrared sensors, and 360-degree situational awareness via distributed aperture system DS, the F-35 can track targets, avoid threats, and even share information in real time with other platforms. Now let's enter the arena with the Eurofighter Typhoon, a European powerhouse developed by a joint effort between the UK, Germany, Italy, and Spain. While not stealthy in the same way as the F-35, the Typhoon isn't here to hide. It's built to dominate the skies with superior agility, raw speed, and multi-role capability. With twin Eurojet EJ-200 engines producing a combined thrust of over 40,000 pounds, the Typhoon can climb like a rocket and fly at speeds over Mach 2. What the Eurofighter lacks in stealth, it makes up for in maneuverability. In close air combat scenarios, the Typhoon's Delta Canard configuration gives it a major edge. It can change direction rapidly, maintain control at high angles of attack, and deliver devastating dogfight performance that few aircraft can match. Its radar, originally the Captor M and now upgraded to the Captor EASA, offers powerful multi-target tracking and BVR, beyond visual range, capabilities. Both jets can carry a wide array of weaponry, but with different philosophies. The F-35 carries its weapons internally to maintain stealth, air-to-air -air missiles like AIM-120 AMROMs and AIM-9X Sidewinders, and precision-guided bombs like the JDM. The Typhoon, with less concern for radar signature, uses multiple underwing hardpoints, making it capable of carrying Storm Shadow Cruise missiles, Meteor BVR missiles, and Brimstone ground attack munitions. The F-35 excels in networked warfare, where drones, AWACS, satellites, and other aircraft operate in unison. It's a force multiplier. It can lead a strike, jam enemy systems, and guide allied forces, all without being seen. In fact, some air forces are now using the F-35 as a command and control node in coordinated attacks. The Eurofighter, on the other hand, is a frontline performer in fast response interception and strike roles. It's already proven itself over skies in Syria, Libya, and other NATO missions. With its superior acceleration, it can reach an area of conflict faster and bring more weapons to bear in a single pass. But what about cost? Here's where the debate heats up. The F-35 comes with a staggering price tag, around $80 million per unit with lifetime operation costs reaching hundreds of millions due to its complex maintenance needs. The Typhoon, while expensive, is generally cheaper per flight hour and has a simpler logistics chain. Training is another factor. The F-35 demands a new generation of pilots trained for digital warfare and sensor fusion. It's like going from analog to fully digital. Typhoon pilots, though dealing with a more traditional cockpit interface, benefit from faster flight cycles, less downtime, and fewer system complexities. In real combat scenarios, it's not always about which jet is better, but which jet is better for the mission. If you're flying into a heavily defended enemy airspace to knock out missile sites, the F-35 stealth and electronic warfare are unmatched. But if you're defending friendly airspace from incoming threats or launching fast retaliatory strikes, the Eurofighter's agility, speed, and payload capacity make it a lethal opponent. When NATO or coalition operations are planned, both jets often fly side by side. The F-35 
35 sneaks in first, clears the air defense, and relays intel. The Typhoon follows up with a payload heavy assault. Together, they form a tactical pairing that's nearly unstoppable. As of 2025, over 900 F-35s are in operation across more than 17 countries. Its global integration means allied forces share a common digital battle network. The Eurofighter, meanwhile, serves as a backbone of European air defense and is expected to remain active beyond 2040, thanks to upgrades like the new ECRSCD, suppression of enemy air defense, variant, and modern radar systems. In a head-to-head -head dogfight, the Typhoon might pull tighter turns and accelerate faster. In an all-out air campaign, the F-35 might never be seen, but its enemies will feel its presence through sudden missile strikes and electronic chaos. Ultimately, it's not about declaring one a winner. It's about understanding two completely different doctrines of air power. The F-35 is a quiet assassin. The Eurofighter is a fast, high-flying swordsman. Both are elite. Both are deadly and both represent the cutting edge of 21st century aerial warfare. So, which one would you trust in a life or death mission over enemy territory? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more powerful comparisons like this, only on Next Gen World.